Do you remember when they tried to remake the anime for the most legendary manga of all time? And the result was an absolute disaster? The One Piece. Okay, so this time it might be a bit different. The One Piece is the Netflix anime remake of One Piece produced by Witch Studio, which was announced on December 17, 2023. Now, why is this even happening and can we potentially see remakes for other old school anime like Naruto and Bleach in the future? You probably already know that anime remakes aren't exactly new. In fact, we've seen a bunch of them in the past, a prime example being Full Metal Alchemist. As the manga was ongoing from July 12, 2001, the series was set to receive an anime adaptation that would premiere in October. October of 2003. But the thing is, at the time only 5 volumes of the manga had been released out of the 27 that would come to be 7 years after the initial premiere of the anime. As a solution to this problem, the author, Arakawa, allowed the staff working on the anime to create their own separate story in the same universe and even requested a different ending from the manga, giving some characters completely different lore from the source material and basically telling an entirely different story. This was done so that the anime wouldn't interfere with the original plan she had for her story because the anime was set to come to an end before she could conclude the manga. Despite of all that, it was still widely successful and very many people loved it. And due to the success, an opportunity arose to deliver a faithful adaptation of Arakawa's manga, in which Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was born, later becoming one of the highest rated anime of all time. This time, the anime followed the manga's plot, characters, and original story, putting a conclusion to Arakawa's story and leaving two versions on the table. But obviously, that isn't exactly what's happening here in the case of One Piece, because as we know, the One Piece anime we currently have doesn't follow its own story separated from the manga. This remake situation is actually really unique compared to every other time an anime remake has been done before. Usually remakes happen because either the original anime strayed from the manga or there wasn't enough material to cover at the time of the original production, and also because the animation could be extremely outdated. Take Hunter x Hunter for example. The original Hunter x Hunter anime aired from 1999 to 2001. Unlike Full Metal Alchemist, the anime followed the manga pretty accurately. However, there are a couple of problems with this version that would ultimately lead to a remake 10 years down the line. One of the reasons that is obvious enough is the outdated art style and animation. In comparison to the animation standards of 2011, it looked very bleak. This is not to say that the animation is bad by any means, but the overall quality and resolution is just low. In a similar sense to Full Metal Alchemist, the manga wasn't anywhere near done when the anime was airing, leaving some filler arcs here and there, pacing issues, and ultimately not being able to cover most of the material that would come to be. For reference, the 19 1999 anime ended off on chapter 184 of the manga, whilst the 2011 anime ended on chapter 339. Since there was such a huge gap of time since the original anime aired, it would have certainly been weird if the anime continued from where it left off since the animation looked so dated, so a complete refresh was done. The remake covered everything the original anime adapted and the rest of what was released of the manga at the time. But unlike Hunter x Hunter, where a total remake seemed like the most rational path to address the outdated visuals and an unfinished adaptation of the source material, it appears as if One Piece is taking quite the brave approach here to say the very least. You see, there is one huge thing to take into consideration. The original anime is still airing to this day, still adapting the source material with no signs of stopping. So why is it even getting a remake at all? Firstly, One Piece is known for having some of the worst pacing possibly ever from any anime and this is due to several reasons. As much of a joke as this image is, it's still kind of crazy to think about. According to this image, it would take about 8.6 times more episodes of One Piece to cover the same amount of content as in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you've watched One Piece at all, you will know that often, and by often I mean pretty much every episode, there are extremely long, drawn out shots of characters reacting to basically any action the other characters take at this point. The beginning of every episode features extremely long recaps that pretty much reiterate what we had seen in previous episodes, reducing the amount of new content and taking up a good chunk of the runtime. Four minutes? Four minutes of fucking nothing? This is unbelievable. And my god, the way flashbacks are used in this show is terrible. In the middle of the Big Gear 5 episode that had been anticipated for months, Luffy and Kaido started staring at each other for a couple minutes and then we got hit with a flashback of what had happened in the previous episode. Shortly after, another flashback started playing, but this time, it was a recap of their entire fight that lasted around 200 episodes. Bro, didn't we see this like, last episode? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You saw the entire fight. 
the entire fight from the very beginning. Who do you even blame for this? Who is to blame? The pacing of the anime is so atrocious that fans created their own version called One Piece, which is a project that was made in order to improve the pacing issues of the One Piece anime. Their main goal is to create a version that is closer to the pacing of the original manga. This would be accomplished by removing filler scenes, lengthy recaps, extended shots, super dragged out reaction shots, unnecessary slow panning, entire episodes that are not present in the manga, and other things Toei Animation is notorious for doing that slows down the episodes. This following video is an example of exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> As you can see, the original One Piece anime tends to get stuck on useless flashbacks that have been shown before countless amounts of times. They're often replayed slowly, completely ruining the pacing and momentum the scenes hold. Just look at the difference between One Piece and the original. It's absolutely day and night. The sound design of One Piece is also something that fans have had an issue with for a very long time. The sound effects haven't changed at all from the 90s when the anime started airing, featuring low quality sound effects sounding very old school Looney Tunes-esque in 2024. Another thing is, a lot of people are hesitant of starting the show due to the high number of episodes and low quality animation for the first half of the series. So, as currently promised, a better paced, better animated, lower episode count remake can easily remove that barrier for most people. And we already know that people love watching remakes of classic scenes in a more modern art style and better animation, accumulating millions of views on YouTube. So I think that all of these reasons totally qualify One Piece for an anime remake with a high probability of commercial success. Even so, there are also other things that need to be taken into account. Current One Piece animators feel like their original work wouldn't be appreciated. What will be the new remake of the anime currently on the air? I feel a little sad that the value of the animation that has been accumulated up until now may diminish. This is totally understandable, and it's easy to forget sometimes that individual animators aren't at fault for the terrible pacing or most faults of the anime we watch. My biggest question is, what is going to happen with the anime that is currently airing? Is it going to be airing simultaneously as the remake, and could the remake eventually catch up to the original anime? Honestly, that would be pretty funny, but currently we have no information regarding this. I think that it's a good thing that One Piece is getting a remake. Make. and I think that it could bring a lot of interesting changes to the industry. The possibilities of anime like Naruto and Bleach receiving a complete remake lies in whether or not the remake of One Piece is a total success, as that would pave the way telling studios and those in charge, hey, this works, this is profitable. We already know that Naruto is going to receive a mini remake soon consisting of four episodes, which is a positive sign indicating that there is a possibility of there being a bigger remake with higher quality production in the future for the entire series. As for Bleach, the mangaka recently revealed that he would like a faithful anime remake and even stated that he would like to make it happen. I would love to see faithful good remakes of the big three and other anime such as Tokyo Ghoul which fans have been asking for for a very long time after the anime got basically decimated after season one. Anime remakes are often a good thing unless it's berserk but hey these things are totally unpredictable and a lot of abuse goes on behind the scenes in these animation studios. If you want to learn more about that you should check out this video I made about Studio Mappa's mistreatment of its animators and staff. Make sure to like and subscribe and if you want to support the channel you can donate to the Patreon, but only if you want to.